The most important part of being a member of Congress to me is serving you. It's ensuring that constituents, we the people, those that have given me the opportunity to represent in Washington, D.C., are able to make their opinions and their perspectives known and have them represented here in the capital of our nation. With that in mind, let me throw some numbers at all of you. 190, 467, 1,908, 139,674. 190 hours. My team and I held 190 satellite office hours and attended 467 events throughout the community. We answered 139,674 phone calls, emails, and letters about the issues before Congress and the issues facing Florida's 21st Congressional District. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who has written in. We're blessed to live in a representative democracy, but it doesn't work unless you make your voice heard and our community makes their voice heard. On top of those calls, we helped 1,908 people who were stuck in the red tape of the federal government that's supposed to be helping you, but actually they're getting in your way. Whether it was a veteran who couldn't get a copy of their records or their DD-214, or someone whose business was having trouble with the IRS, the most frequent call that I got is to help somebody with federal agencies. This year, there was one agency that we got more calls about than any other, and that was the Department of State. On average, passport wait times are somewhere around three to four months, and that is a number that is increasing from what I understand. Visa wait times are even worse in many cases. Certain posts, it's not taking weeks or even months, it is taking years. I've dealt with this personally myself. State needs to make sure that it's doing the basic functions at the highest possible level. Americans are frustrated. We owe them answers. We do not owe them excuses. The State Department made a lot of headlines this year for the systemic issues in the Passport Services Division, resulting in major backlogs and canceled plans for Americans across the country. The Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches certainly weren't immune to those issues. 647 Floridians called because of a passport problem. That's why I introduced and passed legislation to help deal with those systemic issues and reform the passport process. There's no silver bullet, but I'm hopeful that this time next year, the number of folks who need help with their passport because the State Department has delayed it will be way, way down. But no matter what issue you're having when it comes to the federal government, I hope that you know that you can always give my office a call and we will do everything in our power to help each and every one of you. Does not matter if you're a Republican, a Democrat, an independent, a non-voter, a young person, a senior, male, female, it does not matter. We will do everything that we can to help every single one of you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe. I will be back on YouTube with more exclusive content, so stay tuned.